Hey, good morning. Welcome to September. I know, seriously, September? My God. Every time I do one for the first of the month, I'm always shocked. Like, oh, that day just seemed so far away at the beginning of the month, and now here we are at the beginning of the new month. Time has been very interesting as I've developed this channel, as I've been doing this work for the last three years. Uh, time speeds up and slows down very obviously for me. It's so interesting. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to say that. Um, all right, so moving into September, uh, we are going to be doing a, a uh, spiritual business class. So if you want to move out of a work situation that is soul-sucking, P.S. Some of you have been like, hey, that's me. I don't know what to do about it. I'm going to teach you everything I know about YouTube, everything we know about how to set all this stuff up. Colleen is going to do some uh, some good uh, informational work for you also about giving you advice based on what we've learned. I'm um, also going to talk about branding and um, becoming an influencer and all of these things. The September class is a master class, so you're going to get the previous session all recorded. So. You're going to need to watch that before you come to class and because we're going to be doing next level stuff. Those who join this time in September of 2020, uh, I'm going to choose a few to share with my audience. I'm going to choose a few of your businesses to share based on what I think, based on what we know about our audience, what we think will be relevant for them. Uh, moving into 2021, uh, most of the people on this channel are healers, teachers, guides, mystics, um, tarot people, all kinds of stuff like that. And if you're not that, then you're using these talents as part of delivering value to people. So as we shift out of an old economy and into a new economy, hint, hint, that is a going to be a massive shift. It's already started, as you know. Uh, moving into 2021 more and more uh, it's going to be about being online and, and sharing your value online so I want to help you do that um, oh there's a little buggy <laughs> you see that the little buggy I used to be terrified of little buggies little spiders and everything I'm not I'm not afraid of them anymore because I see how valuable they are right like let's not be afraid of things let's use the experience to see the value in everything so it does it I want to say to you also if you're trying to if you're casting around we're doing a beginners class if you're casting around for what you're good at or what you want to deliver to people a lot of times people think that their weaknesses or what they perceive to be their weaknesses are weaknesses they're actually your strengths okay what other people have poo-pooed and pishawed and put down and been like oh that's ridiculous and made you feel bad about it's because of them jealous okay so whatever you have been perceiving as like a, we a weakness right i have this optimism i have this um, ability to talk a lot <laughs> actually it's a strength okay right so what is that about you what about you is a strength that you're seeing as a weakness that you're trying to shove down as you go to your corporate job. And I'm not going to be, I'm not very um, quiet about my lack of um, love for those corporate jobs. I'm just not because I feel like it makes you very unsafe. And it always made me very unsafe. I rolled through two recessions very, um, it was very damaging to me and uh, damaging in one sense, but freeing in another, okay? So let's get you on the path of doing your healing work because man, are we gonna need it. Just saying, okay? So all the links to join up are below if you wanna do that. I invite you to do that. All right, I think that's plenty of shuffling. <laughs> that's plenty of shuffling. Messages for those watching this morning, please. Vast vistas. You damn right. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies a great bounty. Are you kidding me? Mystic healer. Some of you don't know even your mystic healers. Traveling lightly, simplify your life, wise leader. 
Okay, so this is the thing. This is uh, interesting. You know me and my um, under the deck kind of love. This really should I'm gonna be Mr. Rogers here for a second and button my sweater. Um, this is what you're missing about yourself. This is treasure. And you're here to share it with people. You're here to share it with people worldwide. So what's coming up now is traveling lightly. Make your life simple. Um, because you're going to be holding a torch for other people who are going to need your help. All right. Everybody who's watching this has a gift to share. Mystic healer, wise leader, guide, teacher, whatever it is, you have something to share. And I've been saying this for two years about getting, getting you moving in that direction. And now I'm not going to be so quiet about it because we have um, just a few months. Just a few months. I just feel like uh, everything is in this fall is going to show us. Uh, I did a video last Friday about how we got here and where we're going and we are going to a place that is much more expansive helping each other doing all of those things but there could be there needs to be change people need to change what they're doing right now shifting out of that and not being afraid okay not being afraid because you're you're here for a mission that's why we teach all the north node classes to show you what your mission is or how, the energy that you need to embrace so um Again, if you want to grab that class, it's, it's in the description box. But more importantly, just read up on your North Node. What is your North Node? It is showing you what you're here to do. Okay, so let's see here. Lots of shuffling today. I feel like there is a lot to say. And um, yeah, look at that guide underneath the hermit, the Virgo energy. We're in the Virgo sun right now. This is about seeing your own treasure, seeing your own gifts that you're bringing to people. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, lots of communication here. Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. There's plenty of people who are not understanding their own gifts. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Queen of Cups. This is about making an active decision here, okay, to go toward your path. Mystic Healer, Wise Leader. Um, you could, there is some communication here. So, okay, so Queen of Pentacles um, and Queen of Cups. One of you is nurturing this inner guru okay one this is your inner guru here one of you is nurturing that i feel like there's another person here on your path it doesn't need to be a love interest it can be just another person who's not seeing it about themselves eight of wands communication i feel like now that you've nurtured yourself and you're creating um a path for yourself there's going to be other people this is more um this is more about shining your light Okay, shining your light. Three of swords, five of swords, and two of swords. Somebody is not seeing their own inner light. Someone's not seeing what, what gifts they have to offer. What gifts could I possibly have to offer? I don't have anything. Very, um, very much, uh, I feel like some of you have been taught that the things you possess, especially the spiritual gifts, are not valuable. I'm here to tell you. It's just you and me talking, right? I'm here to tell you. That's going to be the only thing that's valuable. Okay? And you're on this channel. You're seeking information. You're looking for the way forward. You are the way forward. Okay, the gifts you have are covered over by a ton of bullshit by other people telling you they're not valuable. It's up to you to nurture them. It's up to you to nurture these gifts. No one's going to do it for you. 
All right. I'm here to like shine the light for you, but you've got to actually uncover it. Okay. You've got to uncover it and you've got to refine it. This is, these are natural gifts, but they do take practice and they do take effort and they do require skills around them in order to put them out into the world. Okay. Effectively to reach your tribe. It takes effort and it takes some knowledge around that. It's like, you know, when I see there's definitely some people who are very frustrated. I belong to, um, it's like a YouTube content creators group. And there's always people in there who are like, I'm saying what I want to say. Why won't people listen to me? Okay. And I think it very much important in that sentence is yes, the message is something that you want to say, but you've got to wrap it in the energy of what other people need to attract them, talk about them because they won't care about you until you care about them first. You've got to care about people and what's happening to them. You've got to care about your people, your tribe. You've got to care about them before they'll listen to you about what you want to say. It's not about, hey, I'm here saying what I want to say. It's about you. Okay. And that's really a prime message because I feel like there's a lot of people who are going to be in trouble. Three of swords, five of pentacles, two of swords, because they've chosen to, I don't know, not really understand how much the world is changing right under our feet. And this is a decision. It is a decision. The good news is I feel like you, as the mystic healer, wise leader, you're going to help somebody. You're going to help somebody, even if it's just one person that you impact. Think about that. So even if each of us only impacts one person, that's a lot of people. Okay. First of all, you're impacting yourself and then you're able to impact other people. And if you're able to impact one people, you're able to impact a thousand people. Okay. So nine of pentacles, two of wands, queen of cups. This is about following your heart, following your calling. Okay. And being confident in this, this will bring in financial reward for sure. Because if you help other people, if you create value for other people, that's all that's really necessary. People will beat a path to your door. If you create value for people, people will beat a path to your door. Okay? Um, so I want to understand about this person here. Three of swords, five of pentacles, two of swords. Sagittarius, likely, tower. Page of Wands, inspired by you, Magician, Six of Wands. So could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with, could be a Virgo you're dealing with, or some combination of, I see I see uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, and then the Sag here. So I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this really, these Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups is really you. So I'm going to look at uh, Virgo and Sag in the, in the extended. I'm going to keep going with this. But you're inspiring someone whose life is getting blown up. Somebody's life is getting blown up. Okay? And you're showing them the way. Page of Wands, Magician. They're getting knocked down. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Okay? But then you're showing them how to recover from this. And... This in a micro sense, you know, it can be a friend, it can be, it's somebody that you're, this is a clue as to what you're here to do in the world, okay? So look at your North Node, read about your North Node, what am I here to do? Understand your astrology, get curious about your astrology, get curious about what your path is, get curious about these things, and I'm going to say it again, whatever problem you've solved for yourself is also a problem other people are having. And so your job, the first thing you might do is teach people how to solve that problem for themselves. There's a great guy on YouTube who's, um, he's, uh, I don't know, he's probably in his 40s or 50s or something like that. I hope I'm not insulting him. But um, he teaches people on video all the things that dad would have taught you. 
you know, dealing with electrical and dealing with your car and dealing, you know, how to handle at X, Y, and Z, whatever it is. And his videos get like millions of views because people weren't taught a lot of these things. Um, Robert Kiyosaki dealing with money, you know, rich dad, poor dad. There's a, there's an energy of parentalness here about how you can nurture other people, how you can take care. See, the babies are other people. All right. So in terms of, in terms of money and in terms of love, how can you help nurture other people? How can you bring people along? And there's going to be an event here that is going to show you, oh, this is the thing that I can bring out of me. I understand my North Node is to embrace this part, this piece. Um, I'll give an example. My North Node, to, if those of you taking the North Node class, is in uh, the eighth house. Eighth house is the house of hidden stuff, hidden knowledge, hidden information. And my North Node is in Gemini, so it's about talking. And eighth house has a lot to do with tarot and mysticism. So the, the messages that come through me are through the tarot, right? The tarot is the tool, but I'm here to unearth information that you then take and run with it. So my job is to communicate. I am a messenger, right? That's my job is being a messenger. And when you understand that or when you embrace it, like a lot of you have, um, I'm amazed at some of the most incredible stuff that you guys have have said and done and everything like that. And I'm honored to be even part of that mission. Um, but now this is like a loud call to action. Okay. To become the mystic healer, wise leader. So underneath you may be a mystic healer and you may not put that out there right away. You may feel like that was the thing that people, you know, that you, that you were able to, um, be very intuitive and you were able to solve a certain kind of problem. You got messages, you got downloads, you were able to read tarot, you were interested in astrology. How, what, what tool is your tool? Okay. These are my tools and this is the tool I figured out was important for me, but I also developed all of my media sense and my video sense and all these other things that now get used in service of that. These are, those are just tools. They weren't the thing. So are you mistaking, this is also something to look at, in your life, what are the tools you've already created? So when you look at that North Node, don't think of it as like a job job, right? Don't think of it like that. Think of it, all right, all these things I've created, my comfort zone, this, that, and the other thing, I'm being asked to go away from that, being asked to go toward my North Node, which is not my comfort zone. It is growth. So, I mean, I'm so like, when people talk about the North Node, yeah, I don't really see myself doing that. There's two kinds of people. There's F no, not going there because it's out of my comfort zone. And, oh, okay, that stuff was my past energy, right? Going towards the eighth house, going towards that house, that energy, that sign, whatever it is, freaks me out. But I understand it's growth. It's about growth, okay? So you might want to check that stuff out, read up on it. Um, in Vedic, it's called Rahu and Ketu. In Western, it's called North Node and South Node. Please read up on that because that will give you a clue as to what you're supposed to be doing. Um, all right. So if you want to continue on with this reading, the link is below. If you want to look at the North Node class and, and the spiritual business class, all that stuff is, is in the description box. So, okay. All right, darlings, I will, um, I'll see you later or I'll see you on the other side either way.